we have just had an amazing meal courtesy of this man, David Carroll, the owner of Red State Barbecue and his team. And he's decided that he has maybe a couple of minutes to sit down and chat with us. Yeah. It's a Saturday, but it's okay. It's a Saturday, but it's okay. We'll keep it short. Tell us how you came to own this restaurant from your radio background. Sure. How did that happen? Well, uh, honestly, my whole life's kind of been in restaurants and radio. Uh, and uh, my first job when I was 15 years old was uh, in the restaurant business washing dishes. And so it's always been kind of a part of my life. And um, even though I ended up working in radio professionally, mm -hmm. um, I uh, had a client uh, that owned a restaurant, this one owned this one. And, um, he uh, helped him out in the very beginning, he didn't forget it. And so when it came time for him to sell, he contacted me and asked me if I wanted to buy it. Yeah, and what has been the best part of the last six years of owning this place? Wow, um, probably the just the variety of people that we get from not only the, the U.S., but internationally. I mean, we get so many people, and it's so interesting to talk to so many different people. And of course, mm -hmm. you know, they sign their names on the walls, and, yeah. Thankfully, thankfully, you know, we hit it with the food, and so it uh, makes for a good uh, good time for all. So you get people from all around. You get, you're get right off of I-75 here in Lexington. Correct, right. yes. So you get people, you get local crowd that come back and see you again and again, and then you get tourists, much like we are, <laughs> visiting here for Run the Bluegrass. Tell us about our, uh, your menu. Okay. Uh, the menu, at its very core, it's... Uh, most simplistic part is the standard pork, brisket, chicken, ribs, uh, sausage. But then also, you know, we do some things that are creative. We have a beer cheese brisket sandwich. Uh, beer cheese is indigenous to the central Kentucky area. It's something that's been around for 50, 60, 70 years that uh, a lot of people uh, love here. And so we include that on the food and a couple sandwiches. Uh, but that's also, you know, you'll find that in some of our sides. Our sides are mostly picnic sides. So you're going to find stuff like potato salad, coleslaw, uh, mac and cheese, greens, green beans. And but there's this corn pudding you have. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, and that's, that's been a staple of the menu from the get-go. Oh. And the beer cheese. Oh, it is unlike any other that we've had. So, but you also have original sauces for your yeah. meat. Correct. We started out originally, we had Memphis Sweet, uh, Texas Spicy, and uh, it was South Carolina Mustard. Mm -hmm. And so we realized with as, as we were getting busier, we were going to have to have more sauces because there were so many different people that they loved the regional barbecue, mm -hmm. so that's that's what they wanted. So of course we had to have a Kentucky. So we have a Kentucky small batch, which has uh, four-year-old Jim Beam in it, so it is Kentucky bourbon. Uh, then we also have an Alabama white sauce, and uh, ours is fairly traditional, but we also have horseradish in there, so it gives a little bit of bite. Oh, and then. Uh, and then, of course, then we added North Carolina spicy vinegar, vinegar because that's very popular in North Carolina um, with the way they do their barbecue. And then the last one is Caprum Fire, and that one is a, a hot barbecue sauce, which has a local craft brewery. Uh, one of their beers included is called Nacho Bait. It also has extra habanero. That's Country Boy? Country Boy Brewing. Yes, and those very beers popular. are also here with your awesome barbecue. But now, the sauces that... One of them, your your wife had a hand in making or made it. That's the yeah. That's she's got family in North Carolina, and uh, so the North Carolina spicy vinegar that was her recipe. Uh -huh. um, yeah. That's great, and you. Uh, it, it's not just your wife, but your your staff also has some input on. Talk about yeah. that a little bit. Well, we actually just came off the uh, sandwich showdown, uh -huh. which we had a sweet 16 of sandwiches. So hopefully it's not as It's like March Madness, but not. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but uh, but it, we had 16 sandwiches that uh, were entered, and um, so we had a playoff, and it, uh, it we had a lot of great sandwiches that the staff came up with, and now they're ones that we can put on special. Customers ended up loving a lot. Yeah. And uh, the young man, um, he's actually working today, Xavier, his sandwich won, and that is called the Memphis Porker, and it's uh, a pork sandwich with Memphis sweet. It's got the beer cheese and also two onion rings and pickles. 
oh. and customers yeah. love it. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That, I mean, it sounds amazing. It sounds amazing. And you have great sauce. You have... And people come from all over and they write on the walls. Yeah. What, how did that start? Uh, well, we actually started out, we had one wall back near the back. You had a couple of local dignitaries that signed it. Um, a former UK basketball player that also played in the NBA, Kenny Skywalker signed it. <laughs> and then um, it was, uh, it took about a year, but then all of a sudden it just took off. And everything that was white in this building, all of a sudden it was written on. And uh, people just love it. They absolutely love it. So they, cause they come back and they look for their signatures. Yeah. But one of the greatest things is if you see somebody walk through that front door and they've never been in here before, and they don't expect it from what you see on the outside, right? Yeah. And their faces just light up and they're just like, oh my God. <laughs> so it gives it such character and it's such just, oh, I mean, you feel at home here. Yeah. I can't, my dad would love this place. I, I hope we get to come back to Red State Barbecue because what you have created here, you and your staff, it, and you have a food truck too? We have a catering and food truck. Yeah. yeah. So if people are coming here, like people who are watching the show right now, if they are planning on coming to run the bluegrass or other races or just planning to stop on through, how can they find out more about it? Okay, well, you can go to redstatebbq.com. You can also visit our Facebook page. Okay. We're pretty prolific on uh, Facebook and Instagram uh, and Twitter. And uh, but then also, uh, you know, just do a simple Google search and you usually be able to find us. Uh, we're two minutes off of I-75, two minutes from the worst part. Yeah. Uh, so we're pretty easy to get to. A top barbecue joint right here in Lexington, Kentucky. David, thank you for taking time to talk with us on the show. And we will link to uh, all the information about Red State Barbecue on our website at runnydrink.net. Thank you so much. Thank you.